find me. I'm a little flazzled right now, but we'll get organized. It's just been one of those afternoons. So, how is everybody? It's been a rainy day here too, but just kind of a crazy day. So let me know when you're here so that we can, I can feel confident. Okay, it says I'm live, yay. And I think I'm live in the places that are supposed to be stamping up <laughs> and not like everywhere. So I hope that you're finding me. We should be in the VIP group on YouTube and in my, my hey Susan, you found me, phew. And on my page that's really my Let's Learn page, but Facebook is insisting on calling it a cricket page. I, I keep telling them no, but they don't want to talk to me about it. Hi, Diane. So since we are on a cricket page, I'm assuming that you've been staying on top of all the latest cricket drama. If you haven't, we're stamping up, and yes, we are. We are stamping up. <laughs> I have a new schedule. I just haven't posted it today. I expected to have it posted today, but um, I did some running around instead. Those of you that have been following me for a while know that I'm the caregiver for my mom, and she's great. She is. She is really good. But she just got a new. We just got a new mattress, and so I had to get that situated, make sure it was comfy. It's comfy. She's really liking it. So whew, we got a win here. <laughs> and, um, oh, I forgot I don't have that other camera. Let's get it added. And then, um, yeah, we had a bunch of stuff. I did some grocery shopping. How about you? I bet it was a usual run around day. Yep, that's how it goes. Oh, they've, it's just, so anyway, the cricket mess. Let's just go through it quick. Um, cricket originally, way back when they started with Design Space, which is the software that runs the now available crickets, the expression, the explore, not the expression, the explore, the E2, and the maker, and the joy, all use design space. So what happened was, yes, this is stamping up, it will be in a sec. Um, so what they decided to do was they were gonna start charging you, you had to have the access subscription in order to upload more than 20 images a month. Huge uproar, people not happy. So then they came out yesterday and said, okay, okay, okay. If you already own a Cricut, no worries. As long as that Cricut lives, you can, you can upload whatever you want. Which meant that if you bought a new Cricut, you wouldn't be able to do that. Okay, fast forward to today and they went, okay, do over, we take it all back. We're sorry, nothing changed, everything's fine. <laughs> so if you happen to step off of Facebook for about four or five days, you don't know any of it and it's all good. No worries. Everything is back to normal in Cricut land. So that's good to know. Now, I'm not in Cricut land right now. I don't, I'm not a product expert anymore. I don't do any of that stuff. I am doing Stampin' Up! tonight. So I have this cool card to make with you. I do not have the finished card because we're gonna make it together. So I don't have a sample to show you just yet, stand by. Let's look at the sketch that we're gonna use and get cutting. All right, so here is today's sketch. And, oh, this will be in the blog. It will also be in the classroom. And the classroom is at caramiller.teachable.com. If you can't find it, just go to my blog. Just go to caramiller.com, super easy to remember. Under Stampin' Up, you'll, in the little drop down, you will see classroom. That's where you wanna go. I upload all the live videos there. I upload, um, you're really off the table, that's why we're not seeing everything there. How about that? Um, we upload, the sketch will be there. It's just where you wanna be. So make sure that you enroll. You'll see a new one that says 2021 um, Inspiration. It's all new and it's all free. I am using oval occasions. Now, if you go online and look, you will see that, hey, Becky. Hey, Jeanette. Oh, I'm looking for my names here. How is everyone? You will see that um, this is a bundle and the bundle is not available. But the stamp set is. The bundle includes a punch with two different ovals that these guys all fit in. It's a great bundle, but 
Remember yesterday was free shipping at Stampin' Up? Yeah, a lot of things went out of stock. A travel trailer? Oh, yay. See, I keep trying to tell my husband we should do that. He's not thinking it's a good idea yet. But <laughs> I keep telling him it would be really fun. Even if I got to put it somewhere for the summer and we could just go. I don't need to necessarily travel because I do like my house. But I think that would be super fun. My son has um, a seasonal site on Lake Champlain. So I'm hoping I can get him to test it and then we could do it. All right, so we're going to use Oval Occasions, just the stamp set, and we're going to do kind of an interesting fun fold, what do you call it? Um, I did most of the cutting, but I'm still going to cut with you so that you can see it. We are using Melon Mambo, which I happen to think is one of the brighter colors and rarely not in my, my choice of colors, but it works on this one. It works with, um, oh, what is this one called? It's the Seaside Seashore, goodness, Susan's going to correct me. What is that one called? Let me see if I have its name right here. I do, look at me. Um, sand and Sea. So, uh, this paper is so pretty, but Melon Mambo is one of its colors. Some of it's pretty muted. I love that too, and I, I bet I'll use more of it, but look at that one. And this is the one we're using. It's actually the piece left over from the one we did the other night because I love the colors so much. All right, so I'm using So Saffron and Melon Mambo. While I'm talking about colors, I talked about this the other night. Make sure that you check your in colors from, tw <laughs> from 2019 to 2021. I will be wrong with all of them if I try and remember, but I know Rococo Rose is one and Seaside Spray is the other. There are, these colors go away at the end, uh, well, let's see, next week, Stampin' Up! is announcing the retirement list and those guys will be on it and they will sell out a lickety split. So if you're thinking, oh, I love Seaside Spray and you want your stamp pad to last and you wanna use it, then get yourself a reinker. Stock up on, oh, Purple Posy is one too, which we never got ink for, but I love that card stock. Um, so anywho, just take a peek at those. And if there's something that you're going to, you know, you're going to be really upset when it's gone, but you still want to use what you already bought, you bought the ink pad, um, get the reinker, and then you'll, it'll last you forever. Well, not forever, but a lot longer. <laughs> okay, so we are going to start with the eight and a half by 11, so saffron, and we're gonna cut it right down the middle, four and a quarter by 11. So I get two cards out of the deal, all right? Uh, where's my trimmer? I'm gonna bring my little trimmer over here and I'm gonna score this. And if you look, it tells you all this right here. Score it at five and a half. Okay, so I can do that. I'm gonna score it at five and a half. So now I have, you know, this kind of a card, right? It could either be kind of a long this way, or it could be a standy up card, right? Okay, but I'm gonna cut off two and three quarters on the front of the card. So I'm gonna take this, tuck it under, and I'm gonna cut off two and three quarters, but I'm gonna save what I cut off, okay? So now I have this short-legged card and I have this piece, okay? All right, I also need a piece of basic white at five by four, I'm sorry, five and a quarter by four. It tells you that, right? If I just looked down and read it, I wouldn't have had to remember. Five and a quarter by four, and that's gonna go right here, all right? On the inside of my card. So I have something to stamp on, I have a place to write my sentiment, just pop in that little sheet of white. I'm going to glue this down right now so I don't get it confused. All right, so we're going to pop this little baby right in here. Nice and even. Okay, so there's that. All right, I have these. Uh, now I got this. Yep. I'm going to take... These are two pieces of designer series paper. 
I'm going to cut two and a half by four. So by the magic of television, I already cut some. They're right here. These two and a half by four magically fits right there on that. So let's glue that down. A little bit of seal. Remember when you use your seal, it's tuck and roll. Kind of like the bend and stretch on Legally Blonde, only you're not whacking a UPS guy in the head. If you don't know what I mean, then you haven't watched Legally Blonde. There's that. And I'm also dating myself because that was just the other day that that movie came out. And then I'm going to put the other one right here. So I've got two of two and a half by fours like so. All right. And that is going to pop down right there. Then this is going to go right here. And I am going to stamp the bunnies right on the front on top of this melon mambo. I'm going to take the bunnies. These bunnies could work for Easter, Susan. I know you're thinking. They're, they're super easy. It doesn't say Happy Easter, though. But it has these cute two little bunnies that would be good. And you could do a little treat for you. It's kind of cute. All right, so I'm going to grab my bunnies. Where are they? And I need to put their little cling mount on the back. So this is how the stamp comes, right? I'm going to peel away this little backing. And I'm going to find out where the bunnies are in here. And pop this right on here. This is a really super simple stamp set. It's not like crazy detail, but I kind of like it. So there's the bunny with the little flowers. I'm gonna pop that right on here. Whoopsie, let's get you straight. Okay, and we're gonna melon mambo them on top of this. Now, if I could do black, if I really wanted it to show and I was worried it wasn't gonna show, but because this is gonna come out I think we're going to be a-okay right here. And we are. There's our bunnies. Let's zoom you in so that you can see a little more. Okay, there's our bunnies right there. And we're also going to take, we have a lot of options. The sentiments are cute too. Um, we ha I like this little, let me get it straight for you, this design with the flowers. And I'm going to put that in this corner right here. And then I want Sweet Friend to go under the bunnies. Alrighty. All with Melon Mambo. Where are, oh, it's this one. If you are hearing, if your dogs are responding to my dog barking in the other room, I'm sorry. You probably don't hear her. She is like fingernails on a blackboard to me. I hear her loud and clear. And do you know why this little five pounds of fury is making herself known? Because she can't get on the couch and I'm not there to put her on it. And so she's annoyed. All right, so I think, I guess I'm going to go in the, well, can I make it go here? No, <laughs> I'll just keep spinning it. Ooh, right there it's going to go. Like that. All right. Now, I wanted to show you what you could do with your blender pen if you wanted. Now, remember, we used the blender pen the other day with our, um, with our watercolor pencils. But if you just grab a blender pen... And you dip it just in the corner of the stamp pad, just a little. You'll soak up some of the ink. See, uh, see it? And then you can color these flowers with the very same ink, as though you were using a marker or a blend. But you really only need the blender pen to do it. 
So it's kind of a, a cool way to stretch. Again, if you don't have all the, the colors that you need, a blender pen will really help you. Who? Oh, Little Miss Bell. Belle, my barky friend, she is 15. And she's this tiny little shih tzu who thinks she runs the house. Well, she does run the house. Who, who, who am I kidding? She does run the house. And what's equally happening is her younger brother, they're not really brothers, but her younger brother is sitting on the couch saying, Nana, Nana, Boo Boo, you can't get up and I can. So now she's even more mad. And the frustrating part is I tucked her on the couch with her blankie before I came in here. But, you know, she didn't think that was necessary. So she got down, followed me to the door, and now she's mad. And she's going to pout for hours. She's something. And you literally would not know she was here. She sleeps all day long. She curls up on her blanket and sleeps all day. And she wakes up about this time at night. So when I get this all done, I'm just going to take a piece of scrap paper and again, just wipe this off until it wipes clear, until it draws clear and then you're good to go, right? Easy peasy. Blender pens are awesome. They come in a pack of three. Love them. I could do the green too, but for right now, we'll just stop here. And we're going to take the, oh no, I need, I needed the, um, what did I say? Sweet something. Sweet friend, I said. Diane, they're really, really good. Um, Lucy, my youngest granddaughter, well, soon to be, right now she's the youngest. Um, Lucy, or Belle loves Lucy. And Morty, Morty's the older boy. And he, he's five, he's not older, but he acts like a bigger dog. He's a bigger dog. He loves Grace and follows them around. There. Okay, so my card is all set unless I want to put something on the inside. And there's some, again, great sentiments here. I could do thank you for your kindness on the inside. And let me get the you off. These all fit those oval dies, so it's a great thing to pick up when it's back in stock. I'll keep you posted. So I'm gonna put this right in the middle, and you're gonna see why in a sec. So when I close my card right now, that looks ridiculous, but when I get this finished, it's not gonna look ridiculous. So this now needs um, some dimensionals, which I thought I had out here. I do. Some dimensionals. And I need four of them. This part's easy. I'm going to put the two at the top, but then i got to figure out where do I want this, and i got to position it. So I want it like that, right? So I need to kind of eyeball where I'm going to put the other two. There's a couple of different ways you can. If, you, if it, you're going to be up all night because it's not right, you could mark this with a little pencil and then come back. But I'm okay. It doesn't have to be that exact. I, I'm just going to slide it down, and then I'm going to lift you up, and I'm going to tuck it right there and there. See it? All right, so let's peel these babies off. Peel these two off. And then put this in position and we are good to go and now there is our card that looks super cool but it was really very easy and you could do another one and get a totally different look if you use the melon mambo paper and still use the same cool designer series paper or you could use this side and get a really great look so <clears throat> let's put this one on 
And we're going to flip it over and pop it down. And then, where's the other piece? There it is. Here's the piece I cut off right here, right? So I'm going to pop this in. Do, do, do. And pop this right here. So this is one of those card designs that is pretty useful whatever your stamp set is. It's going to go like that, but I'm going to do so I'm going to do a stamp here. I'm going to go with the bunny again because I really like those bunnies. I'm going to still stay with the Melon Mambo. Whoops, bunny really stuck here. If you've put these clings on and then they don't want to come off, don't just rip it because you'll rip the rubber backing. Make sure that you kind of tuck your nail under. If you don't have nails on the, um, the Take Your Pick tool, it has that little spatula. Reach that under there. Diane, the DSP is sand and sea. So pretty. Um, okay, where's my little mama? Did everybody get a chance to get pick up something during free shipping? Sadly, I did. <laughs> but not only did we get free shipping, we got like super colossal fast shipping. They my order's on its way. I'm just so excited. All right, so there's our bun buns. So cute. And then I'm just going to go with Sweet Friend again underneath because it's perfect. I'm not going to do the top because this now has those sand dollars and I really like it. So I'm just going to let the card designer series paper be what's up there. Now this doesn't have anything on the inside. I didn't put any white in, but I think we can get away with it, leaving it like that. The difference is when I put the, the basic white in here, you this pops more. The color pops, see it kind of blends in together. But if I pop in the white, you can see the card better, okay? You did, Debbie, yep, Lana, and it's already shipped too, right? Loving it, so happy, so proud of them. I'm sure they were really running yesterday. It was a busy, busy day. I tried to get a hold of um, customer service and that I gave up. I said, no, 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 they must be crazy. I didn't need it answered yesterday. I, I said, nope, we'll deal with you another day. Uh, we might as well use this one because it's, oh, it's not on here. Right here. We might as well use the thank you for your kindness because it's here and I've already got it already inked up. So thank you for your kindness. I'll just put it on the other side. And again, we'll pop you in the middle. Yours too, Debbie. I love it. So impressed with them. Pandemic and all, and they still were able to get it to us. So this was all the same measurements, like super simple. And cut a bunch while you're doing it. So if you think about it, you really needed, this gives you all the cardstock. You need your white, and then you need two, four by two and a halfs, and that's it. So it's not hard to cut a bunch of this stuff and have them pre-done. This is a great card to use no matter what the purpose. Even if you just made up the card and didn't stamp them, you could always come back and stamp later. It's a good card to use your coloring techniques on because you could stamp, like those flowers that we did the other night, they could go in here. That would be really fun. Alrighty, so I had high hopes to get all this information to you today. Needless to say, I didn't, um, but I promise I will get myself organized and get everything out to you that I promised you, like what are the dates, 
when to see me. Stampin' Up! will be Mondays and Thursdays, just like always. We are back to our routine. Uh, chalk Tour stuff is going to be pre-recorded, but it will be on the Chalk pages. It won't be in here. So if you like Chalk Tour, make sure that you're part of the, the Chalk Tour VIP or the other the page for Chalk Tour. If you are a Stampin' Up! friend, you're right where you belong. Okay? So that's what we did tonight. We've got two sweet little cards. And this almost looks like a rainbow for those guys. Not paper that you would think would go with bunnies, but I liked it. And um, one of the things that we'll, you'll notice is things are going to start to be sold out over the next few weeks. There is a brand new catalog coming, and as long as you've placed an order with me, you will get that catalog. I, I'm setting them up with Stampin' Up! this week, and they will ship them directly to you. Yes, the Butterfly Bijou paper is sold out, and it's not coming back. So yeah, that's what happens, unfortunately, this time of year. It, it's just, that's the way it is. But Stampin' Up! doesn't need to keep a whole bunch of stuff in stock because we want them to get new stuff. So, anywho, any questions about any of this stuff, please let me know. Um, thank you for, for hanging around and waiting for me to find my way back to paper. If you haven't read my blog post today, go check it out. I, I fessed up and told you what goes on in my brain, which maybe you don't want to know. Uh, <laughs> I'm not quite sure. But anyway, uh, Chalk is still here. I'm still playing. You can still see it behind me. Behind me if I go this way. I love what they do, but I'm finding that you love cards too. So we're going to stay with our cards. They're not going anywhere. Your new catalog will be coming. And we will see what they've got in store for us. I'm excited. I can't wait to see what's coming. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful night. Have a great weekend. I will see you back here Monday night. <laughs> oh, thanks, Debbie. Uh, I'll see you Monday night, 8 o'clock. And we'll make some more cards. I have some challenges for you over the weekend. So make sure that you check out the blog or in this Facebook group, I'll post it. And we'll pick some winners on Monday night.